Stephanie is back on an early Saturday morning. Happy Saturday, everybody. We're going to go ahead and remove everything with my two-time course carbide safety bit. And just so you know, we have colored acrylic underneath that's staying, but I did decide to remove her two ring fingernails because of what she's getting on her nails today. How did I remove them? Well, let me tell you how I removed them. I removed them the wrong way. And if you want to come at me, you go ahead. But look at that nail. There's no damage to it. I cut the product away very carefully along the way. I ask her if I'm hurting her. I'm not peeling layers of the skin off. It just clips away, and that's all I'm going to say. One dab will do you for the glue and these straight tips, guys. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut the size. I'm going to taper them into a coffin, and we're going to get busy. She did show me an inspiration picture, which I will eventually show you. But for now, let's cleanse, dehydrate, push your cuticles back and blend those new tips with 100% acetone that you could pick up at your local Dollar Tree. Right? Right. All right. So let's do this, guys. Look at that. Look at that blend. I'm going to go ahead and put some primer on her. I do use NSI or IBD. Either one is my favorite. Use primer sparingly, you guys. Try not to get it on the skin, and you don't need it on the acrylic product, only on the natural nail. What primer does is it helps the product adhere to the natural nail, kind of like a double-sided tape, if you will. So let's get my fresh liquid, pow liquid and powder. We're going to get our number 12 Kalinsky. Press out the bubbles. Did you see them? We're going to wipe off one side, go in the powder with the wet, tap, tap. Hold! We're going to get that perfectly, perfectly beautiful little bead. I am using my pure pink powder from CND today. Why do I choose pure pink over sheer intense? I don't know. Whatever I grab, that's what I use. Whatever I fill my container with because I love either one equally. They both are equal. I love them. We're going to go ahead. We're going to do the 1B. We're going to pull down the product to the free edge, wipe off whatever I don't need and blah, 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 blah. Thank you for the inspiration. We're going in with Knight Rider. This green, you guys. Oh my God. And Paloma is going to do the job today on my Mademoiselle. So we're going to do two coats of the green because she is going to get matte. Even though if she was getting shiny nails, guys, I got to be honest with you, I would have did one coat. This color is so solid, you only need one coat. But when you're doing matte, matte picks up any transparency in the nail so you want to make sure you do two coats when you're using a matte top coat we're going to use my sakura number no. two striper to do these leave branch frond things whatever and then after a regular top coat and then a matte top coat here's the final look <laughs> 